Over the last few weeks, we've seen some really great movement in supporting Black Lives Matter and also uplifting the black community. And I wanna continue that conversation today with black owned skincare brands. First brand I want to talk about is KNC, which stands for Kristen Noel Crowley. She is the founder of the brand and she really brought the concept of lip masks over to the US. They're really cute and infused with hydrating ingredients like collagen. And then she added on her eye masks that have hydrating ingredients as well, but also have retinol and are super cute because they're like a shooting star. So all of her products are very selfie worthy as well. One of the next products that she added on is this. It is Super Balm and it is a really luxurious lip balm. It comes in two different flavors or two different scents. It has really nice fatty acids in it like kukui oil and moringa and lots of other moisturizing ingredients and it just feels super nice. I really love the rose scent because it just makes me nostalgic for you know lip balms that I had when I was younger. The next brand is Black Girl's Sunscreen because of course I'm gonna include a sunscreen in one of my videos. Black Girl's Sunscreen was started by Shantae Lundy. She is the founder of Black Girl's Sunscreen and it's a really wonderful concept because we know that one of the big issues with sunscreen is that it can leave a white cast on dark skin tones. So this is a really wonderful concept and one that was frankly needed in the industry. It has wonderful moisturizing ingredients in it like jojoba and avocado oil in it. It's fragrance free, it's very sheer on the skin and it's SPF 30. It feels super nice, you can use it on your face and on your body. I think it's a wonderful sunscreen to add to your skincare routine. And I think it's really wonderful that she's trying to spread the message of protecting your skin, even when you have dark skin. And if you go to the website, you can also see they have a kid sunscreen that's SPF 50. Next up is a skincare line called Rosen, and this is founded by Jamika Martin. And one of the things that she says is she was fed up with the acne skincare industry, which I think we can all agree can be very repetitive in the types of products that come out. She decided to come out with her own acne treatment line, and I really think it's super fun. Some of the highlights from her product line are this, the Super Smoothie Cleanser. She also has the Bright Citrus Serum, which is her vitamin C, which you guys know I absolutely love. There is Rose Water Face Dew, which is probably my favorite product from the entire line. I've just started trying it, so this is my first impression so far. But I really love that she has a combination of rose water in here and rosehip oil. And last is the Tropics Toner, which has hyaluronic acid in it, kojic acid in it, and pineapple extract. The kojic acid and the pineapple extract are really good for exfoliating your skin very gently. So this is really made for a lot of different skin types. The next brand is this one called Nikeo, which is actually named after the founder, Nikeo Grico. And the story behind this brand is really nice because she's a first generation American of Kenyan descent. And she talks a lot about how she was inspired for this skincare line by her grandmother and a lot of the homemade recipes that she had for her skincare. I'm obviously holding up a cleansing balm. This one is a really rich cleansing balm. It has sweet almond oil in it, which is not for everybody, but it's great for those of you with dry skin. So if you want a really luxurious, rich cleansing balm, this is a very very nice one for you. Again, I'm not sure for people with acne prone skin, but definitely for those of you with dry skin. She also has different oils in her skincare line. These two I picked up. This is the Maracuja and Yangu Rescue Oil. Also the Manchetti and Mafura Anti-Aging Oil. I recently tried this one with my Jade Roller and it feels nice and luxurious and gives the perfect slip for your skin. Another product I want to point out from the line is this. It's the Baobab Youth Infused Daily Defense Cream. This is very rich and luxurious. The way I've been using this is more as a balm for really dry areas. You can put this on your lips, you can put this on rough spots like on your elbows. You can also use this if you want some really nice slip for massage or any of your facial tools. And last is We The People, which is formerly known as We Shave. They changed the name, which I really appreciate, to be more inclusive, and I really love that. It was started by Karen Young, and it's basically a luxury shave line. Shaving can be so utilitarian, so I really love the concept of this line. They have luxury razors, for instance, and I ordered a gold one because it's gonna be gorgeous in my shower. The razors are supposed to also be very good quality and not give you razor burn. She has other shaving products within the line and body products as well. A couple products that I also ordered are the Bikini Line Sheet Mask and the Body Gloss. So those are five black owned skincare brands I encourage you to take a look at. I'll leave links below to all of the brands I was talking about in the description box. And if there are any other brands you want me to take a look at, please let me know in the comments. I'm also all over social media at Susan Yara, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.